I think that uh, mostly your motivation here was to antagonize your, your chief rival, Shea Serrano, oh. on this one, and I'm here for it. It's the only reason uh, why. Welcome to Trade Deadline Week. John Gonzalez, Kevin O'Connor, getting all kinds of excited for trades uh, happening in the NBA. Yeah. We're, ex we're expecting it. But something that you and I generally talk about uh, around the office, certainly on various podcasts, a favorite topic of ours, which teams should blow it up? Blow this it is, up! This is, uh, this is right in your wheelhouse. So I'll start with, uh, let's start with the Wizards, right? The Wizards should be on this list. They are a team that should be on the list. The question is, can they? With John Wall's salary, he'll be earning over $40 million into the 2020s, and he's the worst elite point guard, or maybe a little <laughs> bit less than that at this point uh, post-injury. Uh, the question is how much value would he really have, and I'm not sure it's much. So I think for the Washington Wizards, you just need to build with what you have. I'm not sure there's really a path for them to blow it up, even if they did want to. Bradley, you could move an Otto Porter. You, you could. And you could definitely move a Brad Beal. The question is, would you want to, and what would you be getting back? And probably you wouldn't get commensurate value. It's, I'd rather keep Brad Beal and move the other two guys. And maybe that's what ends up happening, where you're moving Otto Porter to just cut some money, get a shorter term contract, rather than paying him uh, $28 million for the next couple seasons. But it wouldn't be blowing it up, but maybe just you know, shuffling what you have. And I don't think you should move Bradley Beal either, yeah. unless the return is absolutely significant. Because Beal, what he's been doing ever yeah. since John Wall went down is outrageous. It's like he's playing with a weight lifted off of his shoulders. It's really incredible. He's not an elite playmaker, but he's shown that he can initiate the offense for you. You can get your into your sets and make some plays off the dribble and continue scoring like he has for years. All right, give me another team that you think should blow it up. Well, the Grizzlies should have blown it up two years ago. Again, another team that really can't right now because yeah. Marcus Gasol and Mike Conley have diminished the value. Conley had the Achilles injury. Gasol had a foot injury a couple years ago, and he's just not as good anymore. They're, they're still both. I would take a little bit of umbrage with that. I think, like, yes, age-wise would make me hesitate, but if I was a team that was looking to add at the deadline, that was a playoff contender, those guys are veterans, and they're having good seasons, too. For sure, and I, I think that's that's the argument for trading one or both of them. Right, right. Uh, if you're able to get something of value back for Gasol before he hits free agency, either this summer or next, I think that's a smart move. With Conley, it's a little bit more difficult because there's very few teams that even need a point guard. There's, very, there's even fewer teams that need a point guard that's earning over $30 million, that's 31 years old, coming off an Achilles injury. So I think the market for Conley is pretty insignificant, where maybe he's more valuable to the Grizzlies than he is to any other team. Give me one, though, that you, you think maybe should blow it up that would be kind of surprising, mm. that maybe even counterintuitive yes. that you wouldn't Press expect the them to. Detonate. Yeah. Press the detonator. There's none. There's no team right now in the state of the league. There's a handful a couple seasons ago, but right now I don't think there's a single team out there. When you look at their roster, you look at what it projects to be, when you look at potential returns, I can't I'm not believe sure there's you, a team You are right the now. blow it up uh, <laughs> course, senior correspondent here at the Ringer. You're constantly blowing things up. Blow one up. Okay, okay, fine. One team, mm -hmm. the Spurs. I'm not saying they should blow it up, but with Greg Popovich retiring potentially this offseason, Lamar LaMarcus Aldridge and DeMar DeRozan entering the final years of their contract with a player option for 2021. Right. Maybe if you're the Spurs, you try to build a younger team and try to get something back for those aging stars. I don't know if they should, because they, they should also come back with DeJounte Murray next season yeah. and see how their younger players develop with this current core. But it's at least something they should think about moving forward. I think that uh, mostly your motivation here was to antagonize your, your chief rival, Shea Serrano, oh. on this one, and I'm here for it. It's the only reason uh, why. The Spurs will never be bad. They'll never blow it up. They'll just be good in perpetuity. Uh, we'll be checking out. Even if they blow it up, in a couple of years, they'd be a championship team, Gons. You're starting to sell me on this. <laughs> We're going to check out more trade deadline stuff as the week continues. Be sure to check out everything on the rigor.com as well. Kevin O'Connor, I'm John Gonzalez.